Hey, what's up guys? John here. I am going to show you a video of my desktop and my dock, which seems to be the uh, new thing to do. So I'm going to join the trend and uh, give you guys a whirl at um, what I see and uh, what I look at every day. So anyway guys, I hope this works. I'm trying a new uh, screen capture program here, so uh, give it a shot. Um, enjoy, and don't forget to check out the uh, website at www.johnforlakers.com that's j o n number 4 lakers.com and the old uh, johnforlakers.blogspot.com address takes you to the same place anyway guys enjoy and uh, I'll talk to you soon bye all right guys so hopefully this works this is my desktop uh, and here obviously is my dock um, most of the applications should look pretty familiar to you guys, but I'll show you what they are real quickly anyway. Uh, Finder, obviously you all know. Um, dashboard, it brings up all your uh, all your widgets, which I think you guys have seen all my widgets anyway. Uh, TV, weather, that kind of stuff. Um, Firefox, which is the browser that I use primarily. Uh, Safari, you know, I use that occasionally. Uh, iChat, you guys are all familiar with. iTunes, iPhoto. Uh, iMovie HD, which I use instead of iMovie 08. I just don't like iMovie 08 so much. I never really got used to it. So I use iMovie HD, uh, iDVD, iWeb, address book, uh, iCalendar, QuickTime, photo booth, which is what you use to take uh, take pictures of yourself and some cool backgrounds. Um, calculator, Parallels, which is uh, lets me virtualize Windows. Skype, which is a, a VOIP client essentially an internet phone, which is very handy. My system preferences, spaces, which gives me different spaces. Um, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, these are all 08. And I'll give you guys a walkthrough of all these a little bit later too to show you what they look like in a, another video, what Office 08 looks like. And Microsoft Project Gallery, so it's something that actually I use quite a bit. Um, and I'll show you guys that too in a little later video. And the program right here that I'm using to make this video is a program called Screenium. Uh, documents, which is the only stacks that I use, you know, some files, uh, parallels, some ROMs and Word documents I have there, and then my applications. So here are all the applications that I have installed uh, that aren't on my doc. You know, app delete. I'll walk you through some of these. Um, some chess, a DVD player, a DivX converter, full tilt poker. Um, I squint, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Neo Office I still have here, Mail, uh, Microsoft's, all the rest of the Microsoft stuff that I'm not using right now, including Entourage. And up top here, I've got uh, Google Notifier. So whenever I get a new email, it um, shows up right there. This is SMC Fan Control, which lets me see what temperature my fans are running at. Uh, I've got that preset. Um, this right here is my uh, monitor display, the monitor settings, Bluetooth, uh, my wireless, let me tell you that I'm on wireless right now, uh, volume, my battery, it's on 49%, and time, and then my spotlight. So anyway guys, this is just a real quick video of my desktop and my dock. Um, like I said in some later video, like I said, I'll do in some later videos rather, a walkthrough for you of these three especially. Um, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Actually, one thing I will show you guys is here's Time Machine. You may not have seen what that looks like, so let me show you real quickly. Let's say you have a document saved um, on a desktop that you lose. Let's make a folder here. Let's make new folder. We'll call it Important Stuff. And in that Important Stuff folder, you've got all your important Word documents, your resume, your school papers, whatever. And for some reason, that actually gets deleted. Gets deleted. Oh crap! It's deleted. And a couple days go by, and you realize, you know, it's deleted. So what you'll do is you'll click on Time Machine that you have hooked up to an external hard drive. Opens up a folder because I had my desktop open, so it opened up a desktop folder. I can search anywhere, and now I get this three-dimensional thing, and I can actually go back in time. Actually, see all the stuff. And you can pick up all the stuff that was there, you know, that you had in your desktop um, in the past folder. And you can pick up that My Important Documents folder um, if you just move back. So, and when you find the folder you want, you can just click it, you know, whatever it is, 
that's my picks folder, or if it was important stuff folder. Um, and you can hit restore, and it restores back. Very cool. And then it pops up and goes away. Anyway, guys, just a real quick walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was somewhat helpful. And I'll talk to you guys soon and see you in a later video. And don't forget to check out johnforlakers.com. Bye, guys.